Hi everyone, I'm Charlie DeVille. Um, I am an international drag king performer and today I'm going to show you how to put a beard on if you want to look like Rasputin or Jesus or whatever. If you're going for a sexy bearded look, then keep watching because I'm going to show you how to do it. There aren't too many things that you need for this. Basically, all you need is some kind of hair. And I like to use crepe hair um, because it kind of is a little bit more coarse than um, like wig hair. I know some people will just um, take hair from a wig and glue it on, but I feel like that hair looks more like hair from the head, which is kind of finer and um can be very straight so like unless the hair has a kink or a texture or is like coarser or thicker i feel like it can look really clockable uh fake so um i i go with crepe hair and i have like four different colors um these are all they cost about ten dollars for the bag and as you can see you get quite a lot in it and they are, um, the hair is like, oh wow, see, look at all that. It's um, braided, so it comes off, it comes out like, um, like this. So what you will also need is a hair straightener. And then all I do is like take the hair and Straighten it. So we work out those kinks. See already, you know, you might have to go through it a few times. So when it's ready, it should look something like this. There still will be like a little bit of, um, kink to it but that's fine if you think about like real beards often they're not very pin straight there's like some um, you know it kind of is all over the place so I'm gonna take about this much hair and today I'm gonna be matching um, to the hair on my head uh, so I'm gonna take this color which is pretty similar um, but really what will make the beard look realistic, like if you have all the same color going, uh, it, it will also look fake because a lot of times beards have different colors in them and the color is not necessarily the same as the one on your head. Um, I think because like beards see the sunlight or something, so, you know, they can often have red in them or flecks of different colors and you just see this from looking at, uh, like a real beard. So what I like to do is take um, two colors. So I'm gonna take the one that is close to mine and then the one that's like a little bit lighter. And then the amount of like beard you want um, should really just depend on the length of it. Like um, if you want a really long beard, obviously you take more hair, duh. But I think for me, I'm going to make mine about maybe that long. So I'll divide this up into chunks. Just kind of cutting it together. And then what makes them um, really look like they belong together is you take the two colors and you just kind of like pull them apart and then layer it together and this will blend the two colors together so you see now it will kind of have like a highlighty element to it you can go crazy and like I could even add a black or a darker color to put in here um, and you can put like say one chunk of the really dark with two chunks of light. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't want it to be like super light, but I just want it to get that kind of 
mixed texture. And you wanna like make sure that when you cut it, it's a straight line so that it will make application easier. But see how the bottom, it kind of like flares a little bit. So for this, I'm gonna use um, this part as the bottom. So you just keep doing that until you have as much hair as you need, which will be probably a lot. You have a big face like me. So now that I have my hair mixed together as I want it to be, um, it's time to apply. And the only other thing you need for this is any type of glue that you prefer. Um, I like Prosaid. Uh, for me, Spirit Gum is uh, just smells really bad. Um, so that's my only like kind of, I like Prosaid, it doesn't really have a smell. And you want to make sure that you don't have any makeup on your face where you'll be gluing because it will um, affect the adhesion of the beard. So um, what I do usually when I wear a beard is I'll paint my face and then I will just leave the spots that I know I'm going to be gluing a beard on because I mean there's no point in painting it if you know you're going to be doing that. Um, so I'll paint say like here up um, and just leave the rest and when you glue you want to start with the bottom so you're gonna be building from down to up um, so you can start even like you can start in your neck here um, I'm gonna start here and you start with the darker colors and you kind of move up to the light and I'm gonna start with my long longer pieces um, underneath and then you basically just glue on the hair um, yeah it's what you think you would be doing so I'm gonna do this, and I mean, it's it, it's very messy, it's difficult to do this, you will probably get hair everywhere, um, so maybe put down like something <laughs> to catch it. And so see, like I've separated a chunk, but the top is quite, um, you know, f like it's kind of, I don't know if I can, like it's all over the place, so I'll just cut. And then now I have like a really straight line here so that I can put it on. And you just basically repeat this process over and over. It can take a really long time. And it's super itchy and it feels awful, but it looks really convincing. And you will have like, you know, it's not like a lace piece. I know they make beards that are just kind of one piece, but those are difficult to lip sync in. Um, it's hard to move your mouth with a lace. The lace kind of restricts movement. And this here, because you know each one is basically individually glued on, you will have like full range of mouth movement and it won't affect you at all. It just will probably get in your drink or your food. So try to like eat and drink before you have a beard. Get yourself like um, a metal straw because drinking anything with this beard on is very difficult and you probably will get hair in your drink and your mouth. So uh, keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna repeat, I'm gonna, you know, glue out. Now that I kind of have like a little chin strip going. So I finished the beard part at the bottom, um, and yeah, I have a really sexy, like, Amish vibe happening. But you can see, you know, it's kind of patchy, it's kind of like all over the place, but this is what will make it look like a real beard, um, the kind of mixed colors. And what you can do now is, 
start trimming it. To kind of clean it up a little bit. Depending on the look, depending on the character that you're being. Um, so this one, I guess he's kind of, yeah, a little bit like, a little bit messy, but still keeps it together. You can leave it messy, you can kind of like bush it out, give it some volume, but just make sure that the glue is dry before you start doing this. You will get <laughs> hair in your mouth if you don't you're making miracles happen. Um, so now I'm just gonna finish it off by doing the like mustache part. And you just wanna keep with the same principle of building from the bottom up. So I'm gonna start like here and start darker and go to light. Alright, so I think that is good for the hair application and much like my um, stubble video that you, you might have watched, uh, I'll try to link it if I can figure out how to do that. Um, you want to leave like patches here and here in the middle. Um, I mean, depending again on the character that you're doing, depending on if you're modeling, if you're trying to like impersonate somebody, um, look at their beard and try to copy it. Um, but in this case, this is not any type of character. So um, I'm just, you know, I'm going to leave those spots because again, it, it looks a little bit more realistic when there are pieces missing um, as opposed to just having one big chunk of hair. So this is the final look. I feel like it looks pretty realistic. Uh, it feels great. I love having a beard. I would have a beard every day, but it takes so long. Um, and it feels awful. It's super itchy. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, like and subscribe. And if you want me to do any specific tutorials, I'm very willing to do some more. So um, let me know if there's anything that you want to see um, as far as drag king stuff, male impersonation, those kind of things. Um, but yeah, if you learned something, then leave a like and I will see you soon, my loves. Mwah! Ra ra ra, the lover of the Russian queen. <laughs> okay, bye! <laughs>